So Remedy Games Control came out back in August 27th, 2019, and it was met with acclaim across the board. Critics really liked it, a lot of players really enjoyed it, and uh, the title went on to win numerous Game of the Year awards because of its story and because of its really interesting gameplay that uses sort of telekinetic powers and uh, makes combat really fun, and so... The game just had a ride of positive PR for a while, until now. You'll notice that the folks over at Remedy Games and 505 Games, the publisher, recently announced an Ultimate Edition for Control. And if you look at the likes to dislikes ratio of the trailer, you'll see that there are more dislikes than likes on 505 Games' channel. And if you look at the same trailer on the official Remedy Entertainment channel, you'll also find a disproportionate number of dislikes. And for those who haven't been following this whole situation, why this is happening, well, it has to do with how Remedy Games or 505 Games or both, it, I don't really know who made this decision, how they're handling next-gen upgrades. So this is information people first learned about on Control's official website. So, scrolling down through this blog post, there is an FAQ segment that highlights all of the common questions that people might ask about this edition. So, right here, it talks about how Ultimate Edition includes the base game, the Foundation, Expansion 1, the upcoming Awe Expansion, this is Expansion 2, and I believe it's an Alan Wake tie-in. And then we have the Expeditions Endgame Mode, Photo Mode, and all the content updates since the release of the original game. All this amazing content in a single great value package, which is going to go for $40. It's releasing on PC, uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. Now, where people are peeved at Control is in these two questions. So it reads right here, will Control Ultimate Edition give me access to Control on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5? The response provided reads, we will offer a free next-gen digital upgrade for those who buy Control Ultimate Edition on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. For more information on eligibility, stay tuned to our website and community channels. Okay, so far so good. But then things get egregious right here. What if I purchased the original version of Control previously? The response provided says, The free upgrade path to Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 versions of Control is only available for Control Ultimate Edition. In other words, if you've already bought Control on current generation consoles, PS4 and Xbox One, then you will not be getting a free upgrade. You'll have to shell out an additional $40 for that Ultimate Edition in order to get a next-gen upgrade. This story has already made headlines, so here's an article from The Verge published on August 12th that reads, Control limits free next-gen upgrades to its new $40 Ultimate Edition. Yes, even if you bought the original game and all of the DLC. And keep in mind that Ultimate Edition doesn't offer anything beyond what's already out there. So if you bought the Deluxe Edition of Control and got the Season Pass and all of the DLCs, you already pretty much own Ultimate Edition, and yet Remedy games and or 505 games are making existing players who already own the base game and all of the DLC repurchase the game a separate edition with basically a different label that comes in with the same content the base game and all of the DLC in order to get a next gen upgrade people who already paid full price and more for this game have to shell out $40 more to upgrade to next gen. So existing customers, people who supported the game early, people who already own the game are getting screwed over, whereas if you never purchase Control, then you're kind of at a bit of an advantage. This comes during a time when there are plenty of companies out there who are making next-gen upgrades free across the board with no strings attached. So CD Projekt Red and Cyberpunk 2077, they tweeted back in February 24th, 2020 that gamers should never be forced to purchase the same game twice or pay for upgrades. Owners of Cyberpunk 2077 for Xbox One will receive the Xbox Series X upgrade for free when available. They're taking advantage of Xbox's awesome smart delivery program and CD Projekt Red has confirmed that same will apply for the PlayStation version of the game. So PS4 users will get a free PS5 upgrade. You've got companies like Ubisoft who have 
said that games like Watch Dogs Legion will come with free upgrades to next gen. Even EA sort of capitulated when there was backlash surrounding Madden's free next gen upgrade program, which gave players a very narrow time limit. They've extended that time limit so that you can get a free next gen upgrade if you purchase Madden 21 anytime throughout its year long life cycle until Madden 22 comes out. And then right here, Bethesda has committed to having games like Doom Eternal, Elder Scrolls Online, among others, get free next-gen upgrades to PS5 and Series X. So this is being normalized now. And any company that decides not to partake in this, they're going to draw some negative PR. But what's particularly egregious about Control is the way it full-on screws over existing customers. They have means to provide free next-gen upgrades, but they're only providing those to people who have not purchased Control yet with this Ultimate Edition. And so right here we can see that on Reddit when uh, Remedy Games and 505 Games announced this uh, scheme. Uh, the downvotes were pretty significant, so only 22% of people upvoted this. And then reading through the responses below, plenty of people are peeved. So this comment reads, How is the Ultimate Edition any different from me owning the base game and the season pass? Essentially, you're selling a next-gen upgrade and nothing else. 100% correct. Uh, there is another response right here. Yup, it's essentially a 30-pound upgrade with some extra complication thrown in. It just feels like a very artificial business move to just get people to buy the game again. You really cannot call this a free next-gen upgrade for many of the people who already bought Control for the early adopters of this title. Uh, here's another comment that reads, Here's an easy fix. Patch the Season Pass to include the Ultimate Edition upgrade. This, please, everyone boycott the selfish practice and don't purchase the Ultimate Edition. It sets an unacceptable precedent that only screws over us as fans. Other gaming studios aren't doing this. As much as it sucks because we love Remedy and its universe, they are unfortunately lumped into this and have the power to take control. So people are, you know, debating whether this was a Remedy Games decision or a 505 Games decision. I would bet on this being more of a publisher thing. But either way, it's a crappy situation for um, early adopters of Control, people who bought the game before Ultimate Edition was announced. Here's another post on the official Control subreddit that's been getting some traction. The post reads, This is a bummer. So Control Ultimate Edition is releasing soon with all DLC contents packed into it. If you have the base game and recently bought the season pass, you are not missing out on any content. However, if you are planning to get one of the next-gen consoles, PS5 Series X, you are locked out of the free next-gen console upgrade if you have the standard edition. In short, you'd have to buy the Ultimate edition if you want to get the next gen upgrade. For people who don't already own the game, this is great. They can enjoy the game on their brand new consoles. But for players who just bought the standard edition and later got the DLCs, this sucks. Why? Just why? Why do we have to buy the Ultimate Edition with the same game and same content just to get the free upgrades pass to play the same game just on a different console. We already paid for the base game and its DLC, so why not just give us the free upgrade? This is some predatory EA move, shake my head. I love the game and I'm very truthful to that, but this, I hate this. Yeah, I don't blame this individual. This is just a really crappy situation where the most loyal of fans get screwed over and get charged for the same game and package again for a next-gen upgrade. It's kind of baffling that they're doing this. Making matters worse is all of the technical issues that Control had during its launch period with a lot of performance problems that have been reported by numerous outlets. So here's an article from Polygon from back in August 30th, 2019 that reads, Remedy says it's working on Control's performance problems. And these performance problems were especially prominent on consoles. And they did eventually release a patch on September of 2019. So this headline reads, Control Control update addresses performance issues rolling out now, update now live on PS4, rolling out to Windows PC and Xbox One soon. While the update did help quite a bit with improving performance, according to Eurogamer and Digital Foundry, while there is good news in that the game is significantly better in its performance and we're one step towards a much more consistent console experience, unfortunately they were still nowhere near a locked 30 frames per second, especially on the base PS4, so performance issues persisted. So a lot of people who bought this game on current gen were hoping to get a free next gen upgrade 
so that they could play the game on a console that will run the game better. But initial adopters of the game no longer have that option unless they shell out an additional $40 for the same package they already own. And the cherry on top is that Control did launch with PlayStation 4 exclusive content, so stuff like the Rare Service Weapon mod, the Rare Player mod, and the Astral Dive Suit, alongside a PlayStation 4 exclusive digital deluxe edition that was packed in with an exclusive side mission called Isolation. So PlayStation 4 got plenty of exclusive content. This Ultimate Edition is now releasing and there is no word on whether that will contain the PS4 exclusive content and make it truly the Ultimate Edition with all of the content people outside of PlayStation might have missed packed in. In this Q&A there is no mention of the isolation side mission or uh, some of the extra goodies PlayStation users got and whether all of that will be compiled in the Ultimate Edition across the board across all platforms. And then if we scroll through the comments on the 505 Games official YouTube channel where they uploaded the Control Ultimate Edition announcement trailer you've got comments like this being sort of at the top so in the future, people should not pre-order games that are being published by 505 Games. Wait for a year and you will be rewarded, while the idiots who supported the product at launch get nothing. Nice. Here's another individual who said, So I purchased the Digital Deluxe Edition of Control a while back, but decided to wait until PS5 to play it because it has known bad performance on the PlayStation 4. I'm not against paying a fee if you guys are updating the game on PS5, let's say a $10 upgrade fee or something, but buying the entire game and season pass again sure is one way to screw over your existing customers. Can you at least confirm the frame rate problems will be solved with a backwards compatible version of the original release? I would even say a $10 upgrade fee is going too far. The upgrade should be 100% free. As this individual said, pretty scummy move for Deluxe Edition and Season Pass owners. They should get the PS5 and Xbox Series X upgrade for free. And then on the official Remedy YouTube channel, where they uploaded the same video. Similar comments can be found, so this individual says, you need to buy this edition to get the PS5 and Series X enhanced patch. If you've already bought the game or buy any version, even the current deluxe edition, which is identical, other than this one, you will not get the enhanced patch for next-gen consoles. Somebody else posted, challenge your publisher on this decision. This is garbage. Pretty lame. I bought this game at launch and both DLCs, but if I want to play the upgraded version on my next-gen console, I have to buy it all over again. I have been a long-time Remedy fan, and this hurts, even if it is 505 doing it. Let's also be real, the game ran like ass at times on the base consoles, but fans put up with it. Here's one more comment I want to highlight. It reads, so the Ultimate Edition includes everything but not the PlayStation exclusive content, right? Not very Ultimate. Going to the Steam page, looking at this screenshot right here, which shows what's included in this package. Indeed, there is no mention of the PlayStation exclusive content. There is no mention of it on the official blog post here with the FAQ. So that's the conclusion that people are drawing. I'll repeat again, you're getting nothing more out of the Ultimate Edition. It's the same base game with the same expansions. It's just, this is what they're locking next-gen upgrade behind. This is a paywall, essentially, for existing customers. And I don't know why they couldn't, you know, pursue the Witcher 3 route. You got a free upgrade to the Game of the Year Edition if you already own the base game and separately bought all of the DLCs. You got that upgrade for free because you already own that package, so CD Projekt Red did, as usual, the consumer-friendly move here. Even Skyrim Special Edition on PC had a program that for players who bought base Skyrim and all of the DLCs got a free upgrade to this Special Edition. And this Special Edition actually added some new stuff like additional graphical enhancements and like a texture package or something if I recall. So stuff like this can be done, it's just a matter of whether the publisher wants to do this. And in the case of Control, they seemingly don't. It just straight up feels like they're taking advantage of their uh, loyal fan base rather than rewarding them for that loyalty, which is really just pretty shitty. And that's why we're seeing all of this backlash on social media, on forums, on the YouTube video comments, etc. And that brings us to the end of today's video, ladies and gentlemen. And this is one man's take on this situation. I do not like what 505 Games is doing here at all. And uh, if Remedy can combat this, I hope they will. I hope they will show 505 Games that this is doing more long-term harm than anything. Even if they do end up making more short-term money, 
in the long term, this is not going to be a good look. People will remember this. So that's my take. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on this situation. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.